between our two countries. President Barack Obama and Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's meeting ran much longer than planned. But the Israeli leader wasted little time shooting down the president's call of a day before. And while Israel is prepared to make generous compromises for peace, it cannot go back to the 1967 lines. Because these, uh, these lines are indefensible. While the two men stressed the long-term friendship between the U.S. and Israel, White House spokesman Jay Carney was unable to point to any progress during the 90-minute meeting. For his part, the president did not mention the border issue or land swaps. He stressed friends can disagree and reiterated the security of Israel is paramount. Our ultimate goal has to be uh, a secure Israeli state, a Jewish state, living side by side in peace and security with a contiguous, functioning, uh, and effective Palestinian state. The wave of democracy sweeping the Arab world has resulted in what the president calls a unique opportunity. But with complicated issues like that of the Palestinian refugees unresolved, progress will be difficult. It's pretty clear that there are still fundamental differences between the president's position and Prime Minister Netanyahu's position. That's not going to be resolved anytime soon. While acknowledging the numerous concerns, the president still would like peace negotiations to resume. This was the seventh and likely most difficult meeting between the two men in a relationship that has never been close. Still, the president says he is confident agreement can be reached on a Middle East peace. Both men will address a pro-Israel lobbying group in the coming days, and Netanyahu will also address Congress. Jerry Bodlander, Associated Press, at the White House.